Welcome back to the Realmwork Spotlight series. This is Liz, and I'll again be your guide in the second episode. If you haven't done so yet, I recommend first checking out the initial episode, as it lays important groundwork for the whole series. This week, I'll show how Realmworks makes it simple to track all the intricate connections of a complex story, saving you time in the process. In many campaigns, multiple story arcs unfold during play, ranging from the main storyline to assorted subplots to completely unplanned paths as players do the unexpected. All the key scenes, events, and NPCs are intertwined and quickly become cumbersome to keep track of. The typical result? Additional prep time, slowdowns in play, and sometimes even mistakes that must be corrected in later sessions. Realmworks dramatically reduces these headaches by weaving the content together with links, relationships, and other connections, not to mention tagging and full text search. This innovative approach puts any detail just a few clicks away. Let's start with an example of finding content within the Rise of the Rune Lords adventure path from Paizo. There's a goblin NPC that the players will confront in the next session. So I want to review it, but remembering bizarre goblin names can be a challenge. Where do I start? The simplest option is to filter everything using the word goblin. With a PDF, if I search for the word goblin, I'll have to go through every instance one by one. That would take quite a while. Realmworks instead works more like Google, returning any topic that mentions Goblin. This narrows down the list considerably, but there's still a lot to scan through. The Goblin is an NPC that the players may have to fight, so that means he'll have the tag Character Role Adversary. I can simply add the tag to my filter, and now there are only a few topics that match. Once I see the name Gogmert, I recognize him and can review what I need, all in a matter of seconds. Let's shift our focus to features unique to Realmworks. Extensive pre-created links and relationships connect everything, making it easy to navigate the often tangled web of the story and visualize it for better understanding. This time, we'll show off the Fury and Freeport adventure from the Freeport Companion by Green Renin Publishing. This adventure centers on the pursuits of a Porcus Beetle, an NPC who initially recruits the PCs to do his dirty work. The word centers is important here. In most adventures, there are key people, places, and things that are central to the story and around which large portions of the plot revolve. With prose-based content, it's very difficult to follow all these connections. Realmworks linking capabilities make this easy. We start with a topic for Beetle. Within the body of this topic, you'll see various terms highlighted as links. Just like a web page, simply click a link and the appropriate topic is loaded, or open the link in a new tab. The navigation history also allows you to backtrack. Everything linked with Beetle is listed in the panel on the right, in one convenient place. Clicking on an entry in the panel navigates the same way. A key difference from wikis is that Realmworks also shows you everything that links into the topic. Next to each topic is an arrow that indicates the direction, which either can be outbound or inbound or both. This makes it possible to see all the places where Beetle is referenced, like the events in the Fury and Freeport adventure or the Wicked Emerald Dagger. This visual reference gives you the full picture of exactly how Beetle is woven into the story, making it easy to simply follow the links. Linking extends beyond just text in Realmworks. You can see and access the plots that reference Beetle here. From the plot itself, individual plot points link to the associated story elements and can even be used for navigation. The same applies to maps, where each map pin can link to the associated location and the map can be used for navigation. The locations themselves identify the larger areas with maps on which they appear, and the link web lets you truly visualize all the connections for a given topic. As you can see, Realmworks provides insights into adventures and stories unlike anything that's come before for RPGs. An important connection type in Realmworks is containment. Each topic can be contained by another topic, the same way you can nest folders on your computer. This creates a convenient hierarchy that is much easier to manage than one gigantic list, including the ability to expand and collapse different levels. Published content will come organized in a structured manner. However, you can easily change things to suit your preferences. The one remaining connection type is relationships, which are very different from links. Links represent a simple reference between two pieces of content, while relationships ascribe a specific purpose to a connection. The exact purpose can vary widely, but I'll touch on a few of them here. Let's return to the Rise of the Rune Lords. The most common relationship is one of belonging, which takes many forms. One such form is the resident relationship, which allows you to track which NPCs will be found in what locations. For example, we can see here that the town of Sandpoint has an assortment of residents. 
Clicking on them behaves the same way as clicking on other links. Each resident displays a corresponding relationship back to where it resides. Other forms of belonging relationships include group membership, which are great for tracking crime families and secret cults, subsidiaries for tracking megacorp structures and religious institutions with numerous chapters, minions for tracking all the MOOCs working for a crime boss, and more. Family relationships allow you to track parents and children. You can also differentiate lineage from simple parenting, such as might be needed for plots involving royal or perhaps vampiric bloodlines. Narrative relationships tie the key people, places, things, and events of a storyline together. Equivalence relationships make it possible to readily manage secret identities like Batman and Bruce Wayne. You can even track public versus private attitudes. Realmworks provides relationship types to cover the vast majority of situations that will come up within games. Thanks for joining me as I showed off the key ways in which Realmworks weaves content together to save you time, both during prep and at the table. In future installments, I'll preview additional features that will take these connections to a whole new level. Next week, we'll explore how Realmworks tracks exactly what the players do and don't yet know, as well as convenient ways to ensure GM-only knowledge never gets accidentally disclosed. If you'd like, we can email you when the next installment is out. Sign up here to receive an email with every new update. Sign up here to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Don't forget to ask questions for us to answer in future episodes. Click here to learn more. Thanks for watching our second episode. We'll see you next week and happy gaming.